Hey, what's going on, everyone? Coach Joey coming in, your fitness coach and mentor. It's November 21st, beautiful day outside. It's about 10 to 2. So I wanted to come in uh, with a nutritional video today. Uh, this is something that I did last year, so some of you guys may have heard some of this um, theory anyway. Um, but we're kind of creeping up on the holidays, and that's typically a pretty tough time for people when it comes to their nutrition. And um, for anybody who's ever worked with me one-on-one -on -one when it comes to your overall nutrition, you guys know that I, I try not to make it miserable. Everybody knows you know, healthy foods, unhealthy foods, and everybody knows that if you ate uh, half a sweet potato, steamed broccoli, and a chicken breast every three hours every day, um, it'd be, you know, you get to where you want to as far as body composition goes, but it's miserable, you're unhappy, it's really, really hard to stick to that. So um, when it comes up on the holidays, a lot of you may have been doing really good throughout the year. Maybe you're looking to just get started. Um, I know once upon a time when I wanted to get started in uh, my fitness journey when I got really involved in it, is it, it started actually before the New Year's resolution. So I know a lot of people try to maybe get things on track. But the holidays are usually some of the toughest times to get through. So we're going to talk about a couple of things. A um, few different theories. Number one, if you're, you're coming up on the holidays and you've been doing good all year when it comes to a lot of things, uh, typically you have Thanksgiving, typically you have uh, Christmas, and then typically you'll have New Year's. Usually that's where you're going to be surrounded by you know either uh, casual get-togethers or parties or whatever the case is, and a lot of that stuff really doesn't come out. So... Theory number one, at the end of the day, if you're on track 365 days a year, it's three days. Don't worry about it, all right? Do you. Uh, if you put on 10 pounds from now until the end of the year, it's not 10 pounds of fat. It's usually going to be a uh, relation to some, some water weight and some other things. Um, so don't, don't freak out. If you've done 100% good throughout the year and you're that type of person who never really gets too far off track during the year, don't sweat it. Um, enjoy it. For the most part, if you're somebody who stays on track most of the time anyway, you're not going to get too wrapped up in a lot of that stuff. Uh, maybe around and you may munch on a cookie or a piece of pie or you know some mac and cheese or whatever the case is. Don't feel bad about it. If you feel bad about it, don't do it um, because obviously you don't want to feel bad about it. And if you don't feel bad about it, don't worry about it. All right. The, uh, the other flip side to that coin is, um, you know, once upon a time I'd go through the holidays and I would just stay on point 100%. I would prepare my meals the same way. If I went to someone's house, I would bring the food with me and I would just literally coast on through it and never miss a beat. So, um, it's one of those things where if you're, if you're disciplined enough and you're, you're what I, what I like to call unrealistic with your goals, meaning that you shoot so far above and beyond, don't feel bad about that either. I'm sure you'll have that family member, that weird uncle, or if you have you know, friends like me who joke around, they might give you a hard time about eating chicken breast and drinking bottled water. But it's a decision you make, and if you make that decision, that's A-OK. -okay. It's good. It's a good decision to make. Um, there's no point in wavering if you feel like you don't need to. And if, if you're somebody who wants you to get your mindset to something, you kind of ride on through, um, you just ride on through and do it. What I'm here to talk about is the in-between. So let's say you're somebody who... You know, you're going to the gym, you stay pretty healthy most of the time, you kind of get, you know, maybe once a month you go out with some friends and kind of fall off a little bit and you're trying to figure out, well, the holidays, the biggest problem is there's so much going on in a short period of time. So mistake number one is don't stretch anything out longer than a day. That's number one. Um, don't let New Year's um, turn into, or don't let Christmas turn into Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, the day after, the day after that, and the same thing with Thanksgiving. Don't start, you know, three days before Thanksgiving munching on, you know, grandma's fudge, and then you get to Thanksgiving, and you're going hard, and then you just ride it out through the weekend, so you end up like a five or six day weekend, we're just not doing really well. You definitely don't want to do that. So for the holidays, we have three days, right? You pick Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, depending on, you know, your family. Some people celebrate the day before. Some people celebrate the day of when they get together with everybody. Um, Thanksgiving, obviously, that's day number two. And then day number three would be usually New Year's Eve is when people ha usually have their casual get-togethers. So these are my recommendations. I call it the two out of three rule. So when we talk about things that are usually going to hurt you as far as your nutrition goes, um, you got your sugary sweets, number one. You got your crappy sides, so that's your mashed potatoes, your potato salads, your mac and cheese, your, you know, sweet potato casserole, which is not a sweet potato. It's literally just a bunch of sugar with marshmallows on top. Um, so we have the crappy sides. And then number three um, is the alcoholic beverage, uh, which is, you know, kind of falls in line with things that aren't going to be conducive to what your fitness goals may actually be. So what I tell people is if you know you're not going to just let go and do whatever you want for three days and you know you're not going to be able to stick to 100% for three days, 
do two out of three. So get your mindset on two of the three things that you're going to have um, and ride that out through the holidays. So for me, for instance, I'm not a sweets guy, so I can live without sweets. It doesn't entice me. I, the smell of it, I just, I don't have that sweet tooth. So usually for me, I go with crappy sides and alcohol. Um, I like to have a couple of drinks when I'm sitting around catching up with the family. Um, I know that on a crappy side thing, I literally will take about a quarter cup of all the crappy sides. <laughs> not because I don't like the way that it tastes. See, like sweets, I'm not a big fan of the taste. Crappy sides, on the other hand, amazing. The problem is, is there's usually a lot of fat in that stuff, and that just tears me up from the inside. So I usually just try to limit myself on that. All right, you guys. So remember that as you're getting through these, you only get three days, two out of three. When you pick your two out of three, stick to it. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if you're pretty consistent with your fitness goals and you've been doing a great job with everything else, if you slip up, don't feel bad about it. You know what I mean? Um, it's time to spend with your family. Obviously, fitness goals are really, really important and you want to try to stay on track as best you can, but don't feel bad. So if you make the mistake, forget about it. Remember, the one day, that's a big one. So if you start stretching it out, feel bad about that. Sorry. Um, but like if you're on and you're like, man, da, 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 I had the crappy sides, I had the sweets, and then everybody was having, you know, a couple glasses of wine and I indulged in that. Don't feel bad about it. Just get back on track the next day, you guys. All right. I hope everybody enjoys the holidays. Don't forget we have some uh, schedule changes getting through the holidays. But if you have questions about that, let us know. I'll see you guys all in the gym this afternoon. Have a great one.